now working okay as you can see the standard wheel also working it's turning okay so for more video what you need to do basically just comment in my comment box that yeah bro we need more about our ai vehicle so i will make more videos so let's start first of all we need to copy our vehicle if you didn't see how to make a vehicle you can check my last uh, how to make a vehicle video or link in the description below so once it's done okay so you need to just basically open your vehicle bp then you find that in our last video we code like this thing okay so first of all what you need basically a function so we can call this function that get land ref okay so by this thing it will be basically get the landscape uh what is the basically his land okay so he'll be get the reference okay nice now we need a basically spin line track point so for that we'll be create a blueprint class dot actor and will be called this that land uh po position land position yep nice now let's open this thing and at here we need to basically go to add component and add sp and here is you find here that spin line just add this thing so as you can see this is our basically the spin line okay so this is our basically spring line so you need to just set the uh location how we want this is now we need to open our bp and at the bp we need to first of all go to inputs and add a parameter and we can call this that as spring line ref now at the boolean we need to search basically whatsoever we create our spring line so that is land and that is land position then object reference now let's click this to single to that is uh, like this okay so it will be reference because we want to use the multiple line then from that this thing we need to search get a and get a copy and this is basically the position of data from now this thing will be get sp spin line and you need to just call last and you find the get spin line just click on that when it's done click on compile and save okay now from this thing you need to search that find c l o s here you find that find there yeah, find ten, uh, t a n tangent closest of the world location then at here we need a get or uh, uh, we need basically our actor location so get a c to your actor location nice from the location we need to basically connect it with our world location okay now from the local we need to set it to world position okay from the written value we need to normalize this so you, you can search n o r and you find the normalize and just like that okay so now what you need to do from the return we need to multiply this thing so simply add multiply and we need to multiply by vector or not we need a float value for our string wheel so basically multiply with float and from the return value we need to add so add with basically vector okay now we need map array this is that map range clamp and we need to basically connect it with our this value okay this plug from this we need to basically get our actor location return value connected with this thing and then for this value we need to first of all say the value is 20 okay guys and make sure you don't do change anything do same thing do the same what i do or you know in future maybe you can face problem and this is uh 1500 and this is 1500 mm okay now compile and save let's see just look the code guys good yes okay, so now at here oh sorry guys we need to set the b range also 20 okay and for the value we need our basically some uh our vehicle forward speed so forget that we will create another function so just click on function and now we'll be set a uh, get a uh, real time uh, speedability okay real time speed 
because we need a real time speed that's why now we need our basically get uh vehicle movement and from that get forward uh speed and then we need a return value from this so it'll be use a output and this output is basically our speed so spwd speed so then we'll be set the land to our basically float and set it to the single and compile like this now we need to just like that so just grade this thing and set it at here now you need to basically multiply this thing okay so basically multiply with float okay multiply with float and then connect it with your speed now you can add anything any value so in my case i'm adding 0 0.0 uh, 0 0.0364 okay so whatever you want value you can add because this is the correct value that's why i'm adding this value okay now we need to go basically our land reference but if you check if we now get this thing it's a, also a function but we need a basically a simple reference so for getting a simple reference like a simple blueprint code we need to go to real time speed and here you find here the pure just click on this thing now click on compile now saved come in lan now if we get this thing we find like this it will be look very nice and because it's useful for us so now connect with this thing with value okay so basically our sum of work are done now compile and save now from this ones what we need basically uh find first of all we need the find reference from this so get a spin line that find location that closest of the world okay now make sure that this is in a world not a local then connected this value with your world location now from your return value you need to search find look at rotation okay find look at rotation now you need to basically set the uh, return value to target and the start value is basically our this okay that our actor okay so connect it with like this okay from our get actor location to our finite rotation compile and save now we need to delta so d e l and delta rotator now we need to basically uh, split this thing okay so split like this uh i think i'm doing something wrong we don't need to split this thing we need to maybe split this thing yep because we need the z value now compile and save okay now from the z value what we need that map range climbed now at this at this here that range a is minus 90 okay and the range b is plus 90 you don't need to add the plus because always a uh, you know main value is a plus in a you know always mean the uh, plus so for the output range is minus one and the this one that output range b that is one so why this thing one and one because guys if we just stare in left or right our always unreal engine value is minus one to minus plus one okay minus one is for left plus one is for right okay and for the forwards it's also same minus one for backward and plus one for forward okay now whatever we created the get land uh, reference we need a output from now so just click on add a new parameter and this parameter is already in a float so you also need, if you don't come here very uh parameter to float you need to just say to float and say this thing that str okay r i n string but just like a string st uh double r <laughs> i'm i'm not sure about str uh, str you know that let's search at here we may be found set str and maybe i can found the steering wheel st yeah st double e r st okay let's set i don't want to do mistake st double e r i n g steering okay steering value steering value or you can set it to basically steering p o positions okay now let's basically get our return node 
from at the last point okay from this one that return value we need to basically give like this thing okay we need to just add one more thing at b so we need to basically get actor uh rotation a c t o r actor rotate get actor rotation and connect it with our b so that is now basically our all the codes so now we need to just simply uh make it some more you know just some optimization you can do some optimization like that just make your make your codes like clean so you can basically understand nice now we need to go to even graph from the even graphs we need to basically get our land and now we need a basically our spin line track point so from the event tick whatever do we do is get all actor from class all ac actor from class and simply cut it with this thing now simply output is basically the reference okay so basically we need to first of all set up at here so land and we need to set grand position, get copy to spin and reference and connect it with this thing and compile. Now we have the steering position. So first of all, now we need to get our vehicle movement. And if you already have the PC input, so just remove this thing. Now from at here, we need to set str. First of all, we need to set thro throttle inputs. And then we need set str i str steering s t double e r okay steering wheel inputs and simply connect it with this thing or you can make it some you know like that he should be in a first so steering and you need to set the steering position to your steering position and now like that okay now we can set a speed that how much we are so in my case i'm setting 0 0.5 okay if you need more speed you can set but make sure because this is a now a physical vehicle and the wheel will be work and everything will be work so you need to keep it mind that let's add the 0 4 from here that is now more good okay so from this thing okay uh not this one where uh sorry this ones so as you can see that now string will be work the same okay so now we need to just create this spin line okay like that and now we need to just click on play and as you can see he now start uh basically running on the spin line okay so how however we select the spin line it will be now rotating as you can see the wheels are now working okay as you can see the steering wheel also working it's turning as you can see 100 percent working guys with full physicality okay it's 100 percent working without any problem okay as you can see it's fully following the whole spin line track point so yeah look how much goodly he is if, if you and you can set more speed but for you know for this tutorial videos i just set the value to 0 0.5 if you want more uh you know some more advanced feature like if there's some object come in his road what so what he'll be do if you want to make like that thing you can comment in the comment box and if you want the next part of this uh driving vehicle yeah driving vehicle so you can comment in my comment box i must try to make the video so don't forget to like share and subscribe and guys uh see you in basically our next video and just wait for that okay like our spin line vehicle okay yeah this is our basically spin line our spin line vehicle is so much as for now he's enough smart for uh, he facing the problem but if you are more smart like uh, something kind of like he can if if in his road there's some object come so how he should be behave or how we can set up uh, some speed control limitation and other stuff kind of like a traffic system okay so if you if you want like that so comment me in my converse i must try to make the video
Okay, so I hope you understand. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Love you all, and bye bye, and see you in next video.